guess who got a sprayer for Christmas? This guy. Check it out. We will build it in a few. What it is, YouTube Nation. Uh, I'm Olo, back at you. It's been a minute. So, I'm gonna put this thing together. I'll show you the parts that are inside. I'll put it together and then I'll show you it finished. And we'll see how it works. The backpack sprayer, which is awesome. Perfect for the front yard. But the backyard, I need like gallons, not just four gallons. And I don't wanna be mixing all day long. So this is 21 gallon. So I got like 17,000 in the back. So I could just do, you know, whatever the math is when I do it. It'll be easy to hook it up to the uh, John Deere, the mower, and pull it around. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna open up the box, I'll lay out the pieces, you'll see what it is, I'll put it together, and we'll look at it. All Cheers. right, so we've got it unpacked. It took about five minutes to unwrap everything. Here we go. You got the 21 gallon tank. You got, I don't know, nuts and bolts and goodies. Looks like the trailer hitch stuff. You got two tires. Looks like that's where the tank will hook up onto. This is the pull. There you got the sprayer fitting doohickey things. The pump, which is 70 PSI, 4.8 bar, 2.2 gallons per minute. So I don't know if that's enough or not, but I can always switch that out. So, now I'm going to put this bad boy together and then we'll check it out. In 12 minutes and this is what we've got done so far. It's mounted to the frame. I built the frame, put the wheels and tires on. I put the drain cap on. Added this to that. That's all we have left. We'll be back in just a few. All right, so just about one hour into it and I am done. Super easy. Instructions, A+. Plus. They're not Ikea type. They're, they were just straightforward and easy. No issues at all. I think I used the wrong size hose clamp on one of them, but they all work the same. So let's flip this biatch around and check it out. Here it is, bam. 21 gallon, North Star. Proven performance, not sponsored. <laughs> It's backside, drain plug, the boom, which I'll probably switch those out with the T-Jets and maybe add one in the middle. I don't know, we'll see what it, what it needs. We'll take it for a test spin another day. Uh, it's a 2.2 gallon pump, is that what I said earlier? 2.2 gallon pump, 70 PSI. Uh, we'll take it for a spin. Here's the trailer hitch mount. Doesn't come with the hitch pin, you gotta order that. But I think it's dynamite. It's gonna do what I need. Uh, and it's a fraction of the price of the Lesco uh, sprayer that you mount into your, onto your spreader. Not as cool as Kenny Cooper. I don't have a ride on, not yet at least. <laughs> anyway, today is the day. What's up YouTube Nation? We're gonna hook up. The John Deere tow hitch doohickey thingamajigger. We've had it for eight months now. Haven't really needed it till now, but we've had it for eight months. So I can tow this bad boy behind it. So let's get outside. Let's pull out the deer and install this biatch. This piece. Bonus hardware included. I'll show you a bonus. All right, let's get it.
Alrighty, already took the bags off. Let's get us a little headroom, shall we? So I'm guessing it hooks up right down there. Should be super simple for the average man. I am average. I am a man. But I have a very, very hard time getting things like this accomplished quickly. Let's try. How can you even say universal John Deere part when you can't even get the right paint color? I should have known back when I ordered it off of that website that everybody uses. I don't even know. I think before it was supposed to go on the back. This got added when I added the bagger. It's a different bumper than I had. So I'm just going to secure it right here. We're going to secure it right here. We're going to measure it. And then we're going to drill it. And that's going to be it. I bet it's gonna pull like a dream. All right. That is where the battery is. I wonder if I can hook it up. I mean, today we're gonna put it right there. That's not very convenient now, is it? I need to go get another battery. Just a little one for that. Then I could strap it up here. Or, I've got a USB port. No, not USB. A cigarette adapter thingy. Can I just wire it into here? That's the question. I don't know. Okay, let's blow this bitch off. For convenience, I love this blower. It has its place, it has its purpose. See if I can hook this thing up. Maybe get some water in it too, huh? Let's get water in it, then I'll hook it up. Let's go get some high quality H2O. All right, all right, all right. So, filling it up to 21 gallons. It's at four gallons right now. Goes up to 21. I'm going to turn it on, put it on, I don't know, 50 PSI, I don't know what that is, but 50, and we're just going to cruise the yard all the way around just the perimeter, and we're going to see where that gets me on gallons, and then uh, we'll do the whole yard and see if I run out or not. Alright, looks like it needs a little bit of adjusting. I think we did it. Of course it wasn't super hard, but didn't go as planned. Like most of the things that I do. Like I've said that a few million times that you were just in the pool. Oh, that's awesome. He's mad at it. He goes in the pool every freaking day. But like I was saying, hey, not hard to do. I even had to drill metal. I drilled in metal, heavy metal, heavy metal. Uh, anyway, so that's the deer. That's the uh, universal John Deere mount made for that mower. It didn't fit, so I had to drill new holes, which wasn't hard. Uh, we got it on. So now we're going to hook the sprayer up to the battery, do a test run with some water, and let's see where it goes. That's either today or tomorrow. Only time will tell. If I'm in the same 
same silly shirt, then the same day. Alright.